Hey guys! Can't believe it's already September. Yeonu will be turning three years old at the end of this month, so I need to start planning for his birthday party. Today I have my August favorites, so I'm just going to get started. The first product or products that I want to talk about are two highlighters, and I was never really into highlighters. I always skipped it. I didn't own a lot of highlighters, but recently I've been obsessed with them, and it's a step that I don't skip whenever I apply makeup now, and just makes a huge difference even when I film. It gives like a very nice glow, radiant glow to the face. So there are two highlighters that I've been loving lately and one is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone and then this is the Laura Mercier in Highlight 01. This one is a liquid highlighter and this is a powder, baked powder type. So I know some people don't like the liquid type of blushes and highlighters. So if you don't like that, you could try this one. And if you do like liquid, I highly recommend this one. The color is pretty similar, but this one is a lot more pigmented and it's a little bit more intense. So I will wear this whenever I have a full makeup on. And then this one's great for an everyday, like very natural glow. Becca, it's a little bit more shimmery than the Laura Mercier. As you can see, it gives a really nice glow whenever it reflects off the light. So I like to use this mainly right here on top of my cheekbones. I don't really like to use this on my nose bridge because it's a little bit more shimmery. So this one is Highlight 01. In the shape of this highlighter, it's in like a dome shape. So it can get a little messy, like you see a little bit of powder fallouts on the case. So this is a matte radiance baked powder. And I don't think it's that matte. It actually has like a sheen. It's not too shimmery and it's not too matte. So this is what I used today right on top of my cheekbones. I applied some right here and on my nose bridge. The powder is really soft and it goes on very smoothly and it's really easy to blend. It applies sheer but you could just build it up and make it more intense if you want to. I did apply more than I usually do today so that you guys could tell. It gives this really nice, natural, radiant glow. Next, this is a facial mist and this is a Korean brand called, I think it's Wa Mi Sa. And it's the Olive Leaf Mist. It has natural ingredients in here and it's organic. And look, there's two leaves in here like floating around. Texas is really hot and dry here. So throughout the day, my face does get dry sometimes. So I just spray this on my face. You guys probably noticed I do use this in my recent tutorials. And I like to spray it on a sponge and use it to apply cream blushes and even foundation. It has a very mild floral scent. It smells really good. So this is a lip balm. This is so cute, like the packaging, it really looks like a peach. It's so tiny. This is from Tony Moly in Peach. It's a lip balm, and you guys saw this on my Kim Tae tutorial. And I actually just got a new one because the one um, that I had before, Yeonu messed it up because he's also obsessed with this lip balm since it smells so good. He calls it his candy and he always digs his finger in it and tries to apply it around his mouth. So I just grabbed another one while I was at Tony Moly the other day. And this is super moisturizing. Um, I'm not sure if it has SPF in here, but I think it works better than the EOS lip balm. It just applies clear, no color. It's not sticky, leave a white cast, or super shiny. So I just apply this morning and night. So for those that are wondering what I have on my lips today, it's this lipstick, which is also part of my favorites. And I went to Ulta a few weeks ago and I was just walking around and I noticed this lipstick. It just like caught my eyes. So gorgeous. And I never heard of this brand until that day. At first I thought it was a Japan, but it's Japon. Japonesque. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. The packaging, it's a hard black case. And then the color is actually at the bottom. So I got this in the color number 03. The formula is so creamy and buttery and it goes on really smoothly. And the color, it's like 
super, super pigmented. And this is a very cool tone pink, a very bright pink without any blue undertone. I don't know how to describe the finish. It's not too matte and it's not too glossy. So it's right in between. It's also pretty long lasting. I would say like four to six hours. Last favorite of the month is the Makeup Forever Diamond Powder. I forgot what um, color this was in. As soon as I find out, I will list it down in the video info box. The size is pretty small. I think I pay like 20 or $22. But this, I'm pretty sure this will last me a very long time. The other glittery pigments, it gets really messy. And whenever I apply it on top of my eyeshadows, it kind of messes up the eyeshadow that I have underneath. But this, when I apply it with like a thin brush, it just applies a very sheer layer. You could also use a brush and apply some on the inner corners of the eye to brighten it up. Today I used my Etude House pencil. It looks like this. It's like a light gold beige color. But let me go ahead and apply some of this. So that was all of my current favorites. Like always, please let me know down in the video info box some products that you've tried lately and you love. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Hyunwoo, 여기 와봐. Bye,